Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch Noland game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you are using any third party antivirus, just allow the game exe file to your antivirus. And if you are using Windows security, then allow the game exe file to control folder access and firewall. So if you have any third party antivirus, in my case, I have a vast antivirus so you can open your antivirus program this is just an example and then you can go to menu and then go to settings go to exception click on add a exception and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in c drive so open expand c drive then program file 686 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder now expand the common folder now over here you can see the game folder so put a check on game folder and then click on ok and then click on add exception so once the exception is added now if you see if you go to the click on this up arrow the hidden you can see all the hidden over here uh, application so here you can see your antivirus program so in my case it's avast make a right click and then go to avast seal control um, go to quarantine first so click on quarantine and over here you can see this nonline.exe is actually in quarantine so you can put a check on this exe and then on the three dots on the bottom right here you can see three dots click on it and then you can click on restore and add exception click on it file success successfully restored now click on close similarly if you have any other third party antivirus like maybe avast i'm using avast like if you have avg mcafee norton bit defender whichever antivirus program you have just allow the game exe file and your game folder to your antivirus program now if that does not work you can even turn off your antivirus for some time like till the time you are playing the game you can turn it off so in my case i can go to avast seed control and i can disable it for maybe one hour or maybe five hour or maybe until computer is restarted so you can select the option and you can disable your antivirus program till the time you are playing the game once you're done playing the game you can always enable your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case, uh, you can open Windows settings. Now, once you open Windows settings, go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection, scroll down. At the end, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. And then again, go to add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or features in windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow another click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you will see the game exe file so make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click over here launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working select properties this time select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working then this time put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes 
hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to any website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then for product type for me it's geforce so select geforce now select your series make sure that you select the right series as per your graphic card for me it's 30 series now select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card now if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then select game ready driver over here and then click on search and then click on download and again click on download on this page and once the download is 100 percent complete you can run this file and now once you run this file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once this is inst once the installation is complete restart your computer and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box go to graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save next step is to verify the game file now go to steam mega right click on the game select properties and go to install files and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you are not using disconnected also disconnect additional controller connected try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and go to general and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check next step is to close all the other overlay applications so if you have discord running or you can simply turn off overlay in discord turn off overlay in geforce experience or you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert you or any kind of overclocking application running close all the overclock the application and then check to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this will be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Also, update your Windows to the latest version. So, go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now, over here, you will find visual student 2015 17 19 and 22 scroll down and here you can see x86 and x64 so you have to install both x86 and x64 files so click on it run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install now download x64 as well again run this exe file run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once this is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory 
So to increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings and then click on the first settings and then go to Advanced tab and then click on Change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM. So sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive or C drive. So if nothing is working, you can make the right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to another drive like D drive or E drive, in that case you can install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on the Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.